on to the adventure and put my on W four C Y three. Wake up, America! It's time for the adventures of Hype Man on W4CY.com, West Palm Beach's number one internet radio station. Here's your host, the Hype Man. This is the Pipe Man here on the Adventures of Pipe Man W4CY Radio, and I'm here with our next guest who has some not only pretty killer new music, but the video I absolutely love. I was so entertained by it, and it's got such a strong message. So let's welcome to the show Dimitri from Seventh Station. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having us. Or having me, to be honest, in the show. <laughs> yeah, and well, it's my pleasure, uh, you know, and I got to tell you, I, I only really do interviews of stuff that I like, like if I, because I believe if I don't like the music, it's kind of hard to promote it and sound excited about it, so, you know. Uh, I, yeah, wow, I'm so flattered, I'm so flattered, thank you so much. Oh, hey, my pleasure, and you know, I was watching the video for your new song, and uh, first of all, it's pretty funny, the name of the song, if people didn't know the meaning behind it, uh, which we will talk about, but the new song's called All Hail the Mustache, and I gotta tell you, that was one of the most entertaining music videos I've watched in a long, long time. Well... I'm, I'm glad I'm glad you're saying that I really I really feel lucky that uh, such video and such production uh, we managed to do it was uh, a lot of preparation involved and the animator uh, um, Mike from uh, sorry Mika from uh, Finland it did a great job uh, with the animation and this is this was a very long project. <laughs> I, I'm sure it was. I could tell by seeing it. And, you know, the best thing about this song is it's so, so, so appropriate for what's going on in the world right now. So maybe you should tell everybody the story behind this song and why it's so important right now. Well, to be honest, um, when we wrote this uh, music or uh, thought about the idea for the video clip, well, we couldn't really guess that the situation will escalate or right. <laughs> come to to the reality that it's now. Um, because this song is a part of a three songs trilogy, which we will expose once the album will come out, hopefully in the end of this year. And so it will be much more clear with the trilogy. But this song by itself, it's, mostly against dictatorships uh, in the world. I was born in uh, Belarus uh, in Soviet Union time. So um, I, I came from a country which was uh, dictator, dictated by Joseph Stalin for so many years. Even after his death, people still there uh, basically continue living in some kind of way in that matter, communistic manner. And uh, Belarus, uh, the country that I was born, today has a dictator, and they all have mustaches. <laughs> so it's uh, the, the the funny the funny story about the about the song is that we're trying through the mustache to show how dictatorship is dangerous and how it easily can get over the world. So we just took the image of the mustache because well, Hitler, Mussolini, Joseph Stalin, uh, Lukashenko now. Um, Ardugan in Turkey. Okay, I wanna, I don't want to be political. We are really not political band. It's just happened to be very actual topic. Um, but uh, we are really not political uh, in that sense. We just uh, uh, try to emphasize the dangers of uh, dictatorship in the world. And I don't. So think... I, I, ho- I hope I was clear. Yeah, you totally were. And I, I, I want to say I don't think. You have to be political to be not 
okay with tyrants that are, you know, murdering and killing people over power and money. To me, that's not political. That's just being a human being. Well, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I agree with you 100%. Uh, I mean, even my parents ask me <laughs> why the hell I, I wrote about this kind of a topic. They ask me, it's because you were born in the Soviet Union. I said, I don't know. It just came, I just, it just came out. Maybe something inside of me needs to express this period of time. I, I don't know. Like, like I said, we, there, is, there, there was no way when this song was written that we could guess uh, what's, go, what's going to be happening right now in uh, Russia and Ukraine. You know, what's interesting about that is there's been a lot of new music that's come out over the couple in the past couple of years that I've interviewed bands that, and that, you know, it was weird because the songs were about the pandemic, but the songs were written before the pandemic. It's like it's like all of a sudden music artists are becoming so prophetic because, you know, you have this downtime to really like think and focus on your art and creativity and then stuff like this comes out and you don't even know what it means until the action happens like what happened with Russia and Ukraine you know like you didn't expect that to happen but it was almost like you were prophetic about it right I mean I think I think artists uh, in general uh, have a really good sense of pre-emotion uh, and uh, they can feel stuff moving around, like movements or stuff, even without uh, knowing the like the politics or history or not following. It's just uh, I think artists are so connected to their feelings and humanity uh, and uh, all sorts of emotions that uh, it's very hard in in the difficult world we are living uh, today, or maybe always lived, uh, not to hit the spot. <laughs> <laughs> when you just want to express uh, something pure. Yes. So I, I think artists just using uh, these feelings a lot, and that's why maybe they have a sense to things that are about to happen, even if they don't know what exactly. I, maybe. I, I agree. Maybe. I agree with that, you know, because when you're an artist, you kind of go kind of deep inside yourself. You have to. You have to. Yes, you you have you have to use your imagination. You have to stay a child. You have to be all in it, uh, and that's why you you manage to feel all the uh, rainbow of colors uh, of emotions that the world has to offer. That's right. So I got. I mean, I believe you. that every human is like this. It's just on different levels. That uh, absolutely, hundred percent, and it's whether you pay attention to it. You know, a lot of us that it happens to us, but we kind of ignore it instead of paying attention to it. That's my viewpoint. Right, right, right. Uh, but it's very hard to pay attention attention to that because we are so busy in chasing after after goals, life, uh, living to make a living, and it's just. Sometimes you just want to sit down and relax and just to feel, but you are so over worried and over stressed all the time because life became too fast. I mean, when we were recording this album two years ago, I've been in Boston. Uh, I came to our keyboardist living in Boston, Aaron Bashbu. Um, and I got a panic attack on my way back uh, on the airport in Boston. And uh, because I had the festival that I was organizing, I had this album, I had millions of other projects that I was the organizer and I couldn't hold the pressure. And I just, it came down to the panic attack, which until this day I'm dealing with anxiety and panic uh, disorder uh, since then. And uh, a lot of this album, it's basically about that. And also this song, when you listen to this, you can feel this anxiety always there. Yes. So it's just, uh, I told this because uh, it's, it's just, we became in life in a, such in a hurry, in such fast life that it's, our, our spirit cannot catch up. That's true. 
<laughs> no, couldn't be more true words. And I got to tell you too, you're going to laugh at this, okay? So we kind of have a joke in, the, in this country about mustaches nowadays, okay? And so okay. It, it's funny, before me watching the video, listening to the song, and just looking at the name, like I at first kind of thought it was something like that because, okay, in the U.S., the, they make jokes about the mustache. If you have like just a mustache nowadays, it means like you're a porn star or, you know, like a 70s porn <laughs> star. You know, like this. Really? Yeah, because the 70s porn star in America was famous for their mustache. And, there, you know, it was like a, it was a fashion statement back then. And today, like you get made fun of if you just have a mustache. So... I like I thought it was a funny at first well it's like all hell the mustache but then watching the video then I you know I got it then and it it made <laughs> it made me think though it is it, it's so true that almost every dictator in history has had a mustache yeah I mean most most of dictators you, if you if you I mean if I'll show you just a mustache most of chances you will be able to distinguish what dictator he, <laughs> I know, to right? Show you. <laughs> How it's funny like, is it's that? It's like they're superpowers. I know, totally. I mean, like immediately, uh, I'm a Jew, so immediately Hitler comes to mind. And you, are, you really are a Jew? Yes, I am. I'm, uh, I'm a Jew as well. I've nice. been living in Israel for 24 years. Oh, I love it. Oh, so yeah, my youngest daughter is going to Israel in June. She's doing birthright. Oh, I just was there two months ago. <laughs> nice. I have two parents there and the family, and our vocalist is from Israel. I love it. That's even better. And look at that. Like all the all the Jews' enemies in history all had mustaches. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. Even though even though I have a lot of friends in the states there with mustache. <laughs> I didn't know about the joke. They didn't tell me about the joke with the uh, porn thing. Yeah, it's quite they, funny. Yeah, and it's the same that same type of mustache. It's not just a mustache. It's the same type of mustache that's in your video. <laughs> so, so you so you tell me to, that uh, I should write a second part, uh, right? Yes, uh, for the porn community. There you go. <laughs> all hell the porn. You could you could be two. you could call it all hell the mustache the dirty version. The dirty version, I like that. I like, I, I like the dirty version, but it will be hard to convince animator, uh, the same animator, uh, to do the uh, porn animation. But we will try. Well, you we know, you try. could do like some hentai, use some hentai porn. You know, you know that's the uh, that's the animated porn, and then just you know, it could be that. Hey, you could actually take the same video, okay, and <laughs> and like and the apes. Are basically, you know, you know, doing bad things to the guy with the mustache. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! You know, you know that the guy in the video, the guy in the video that turns to uh, from uh, real uh, camera to animation, yes. is the is the father of my wife. Oh really? Oh my god! Really? Really? So I'm not sure about this. Idea. I don't think he'll want to do that then. <laughs> I mean, he he also he also played uh, a role in our uh, other video, uh, "The Age of the Lake" from the previous album. He's a great guy. He's uh, a great guy. See, that's great. I I love that. And you know what? Then you know you you're always loved at that point. <laughs> and he and he has birthday today, by the way. So happy birthday, uh, Tom Strange! Uh, all hail the mustache! Happy birthday! All hail the mustache! <laughs> Oh, uh, now, so when you went, approached him with the idea of this, what, what did he have to say? Um, he already, he, he's already used, I think, to my crazy ideas. Uh, <laughs> most, mostly he, because he already worked with me on the previous video, he just asked, okay, what I should do now? What this time you're going to make me do? Ah, no problem. This time you just need to grow um, uh, your hair for like a month or two until you will have a beard and a mustache. <laughs> so so he was like for two months like uh, looking like a homeless that's so funny. even though he has very serious job i mean uh, this is really high respect to him 
I love that it. That he managed to do that. That's some dedication right there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, the, the the guy should be an actor. I'm telling you. I mean, he's not, but uh, he should be, in, in my opinion. Definitely, because that's what actors do. Like, how many people would get like a little ways in and look in the mirror and go, "Oh, I can't deal with this." Right. Right. It happens to me. Yeah. Like, I have a beard, but I keep it close because every time I start growing it long, like this last winter, I I start growing it long. It got to a point. I looked in the mirror. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I got to trim it down. Well, I I have no luck. I mean, I have I mean, my my facial hair is not growing. It's growing only under my chin and a bit of mustache. I I cannot really grow anything that will look normal without me look like a caveman because nothing grows on the sides. You know what's funny about that? You know what's funny about that? You ready? So, yeah. I had a go- I had a goatee most of my adult life because I could never grow a full beard. I was always like, how am I a Jew and I can't grow a good beard? And so, right. so check this out. I finally, I'm 55 now. I was finally, for the first time in my life, able to grow a full beard at 50. How weird is that? You want to tell me that I still have hope? You still have hope. Because really? I did. I tried. I tried in my 20s, 30s, 40s. Couldn't grow one. And all of a sudden. It didn't grow until your 50s? Yeah. Only in your 50s I, it started to grow? Yeah. This I didn't have insane. anything on the side. You know, I would never, ever be able to grow payas, you know, because my sideburns aren't like that, you know. And it, it was, I always had a goatee because I couldn't grow a full beard. I was always like, man, I just wish I could grow a full beard. And then boom, you know, you get old and you get a full beard. <laughs> well, at le- at, well, at least something about getting older uh, I have to look in for. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> see that? There you go. And now, you know, it's funny. Now I haven't shaved the, the beard because I'm afraid, like Samson, I'm, if I shave the beard, it'll never grow back again. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying so you're saying don't play with the devil. <laughs> yeah, don't play with the devil. But I did have one of those, you know, 70s porn mustaches in my 20s. So, uh, you know, I'm all for all hail the mustache. <laughs> all, all, the dirty version. <laughs> the dirty version for sure. Uh, and, yeah. you know, I think I think we should start a trend anyway. I think we should go back to that and like just get everybody to start shaving their beard and just keep the mustache. I, I'm up for that completely. I, I'm, but no dictators. No dictators. None. <laughs> just just a movement for for better world with a mustache. And, and you know, no politics because I don't like any of our politicians in the United States. But we just got rid of a dictator over here, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> we, I, yeah, but he but he didn't have a mustache. He did not have a mustache. That's why he never. That's why he didn't succeed. See, that's why he didn't <laughs> succeed. <laughs> yeah, somebody well, has to tell him that he needs to grow a mustache if he wants to be a true dick. Well, maybe maybe for the next elections, uh, he, as much as I remember, he he wants to try again in twenty four. Yes, twenty four. So maybe he, somebody should tell him if he wants to win, he needs to grow a mustache. Otherwise, no, no chance. I, you know no what? Chance. The I'm Jews gonna, will not vote, vote him. I, I'm <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there on social media. Hey, if you want to win in 2024, you need to grow the mustache. <laughs> well, to be honest, it would be cool if uh, the video, if they all held the mustache, the video will succeed in YouTube. And uh, the second version, the porn uh, version will be in porn hubs. <laughs> that, that, I think that achievement no Ben ever had. Maybe I, <laughs> I should take it seriously. Yeah, or you know what? If Trump does grow the mustache, all hail the mustache could be like his victory song if he wins. Ooh, ooh, that's if we will man if he will be interested in Seven Station music uh, <laughs> as part of his election. Well, then we then we are on the top of the world, I guess. <laughs> I, I think we're on some onto something, Dimitri. I, I think we really are. Like that, I think that's the missing piece of the puzzle for him to get back to power. <laughs> Completely. I mean, I mean, I, I know a lot of uh, people in Israel will be happy if he would be back to power. <laughs> so you know, it's true, and like. 
so I, I th it's so weird. Here's what's so weird to me since you got on that subject, not even about politics, but more about being a Jew. It kind of blows my mind because American Jews seem to think that we're supposed to be very far left. And anytime that anybody, any Jew has said that to me in America, I'm like, you do realize that in Israel, you're not really necessarily a Jew unless you're Orthodox. You're not a Jew if you're Reform. You know, they don't like, they don't consider you like a Jew. That's, I don't think it's true, you know. Oh, really? Uh, I don't think it's true because uh, by Judaism, uh, you cannot uh, resign like in Christianity that you can just resign uh, Christianity and become atheist. Because in Judaism, there is a belief that uh, if you sin, then all, all the nation is getting punished by yes. God. So you cannot resign. That's true. That's true. And, and you know, it, it's just, it, it just is always interesting to me the stereotypes that people give, you know, of what you're supposed to be because of who you are. And it's always based on their own opinions and their own feelings. And it has partial facts, but then partial not facts. And, uh, you know, it, it's, I don't know. I don't know many of the Democratic presidents in my lifetime in the United States that were pro Israel. It's it's always been the Republican presidents. Yeah, I know, but uh, this is beyond our knowledge. If you ask me, this is things that are way uh, happening behind the curtains. Yep, it it, so, it all has to do. Do you have a mustache or do you not have a mustache? <laughs> and if you have, and if you have it, all hail the mustache. <laughs> all hail the mustache. All way. All way. So tell everybody how they can connect you on social media, check out your YouTube channel, watch the video, go to your website, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's easy to find us on all the social platforms from Facebook, Instagram, uh, What I'm Missing, YouTube, uh, Spotify, um, all, all the platforms we are there. You, you can check our first album. It's available on Bandcamp, it's available on YouTube, uh, it's available on Amazon, Apple Music, any, any, any platform I think if, that you choose you will find. You'll find our uh, debut album and uh, hopefully soon enough we will, we will release uh, more videos and eventually the second album. Can't wait. So everybody make sure Me you too. stay connected because you want to check out all the new music. But you definitely want to go check out the video. It's like one of the most entertaining videos ever. And, you know, I thank you for giving us not only just great music, but the fact that it is relevant to an important issue. And it doesn't even just mean just Russia and Ukraine, just the history of the world, you know. And, right. you know, we, we have to me. My opinion is, is we all have to band together as human beings to make sure this stuff doesn't happen. And, you know, us as Jews, we always say never forget, but people forget very quickly. And there, there was a one sentence that I read, I think, uh, a few weeks ago or months ago on, on some meme on social media. Uh, if, if, you, if you show a kid um, the value of instruments, he would never have uh, money for drugs. So I guess it's true about uh, if you make everybody busy with something um, meaningful, then people will not have time to hate. I love it. What great words. It's so true, too. And uh, let's hope everybody gets that message, right? This is the hope. This is, I think, from dawn of time hope. That's right. So, Absolutely. Let's one hope. day. One day maybe. I don't know if it'll one be day. I don't know if it'll be in my lifetime, but one day maybe. Let's hope. That's there is a sentence in, in Russia, hope die last. I mean it's a bad translation, but uh, I think I you like understand. It. <laughs> I like it. I, you know what? I'm gonna use that from now on because I like that. I love that. Uh yeah. So great message, great song, great video. Thanks for giving it to us, and thanks for being on the Adventures of Pipe Man. Thank you so, thank you so much for the opportunity, and thanks so much to all listeners. And I wish you all the best, and all hail the mustache, of course. All hail the mustache. Thank you for listening to the Adventures of Pipe Man. 
on W4CY Radio.